Freezer is cool, but his brother's cooler. Hey, 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 how's it going, guys? We're here with the most anticipated figure for 2021. That is Cooler Final Form. I guess the only other figure that would be coming close would be Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who's coming out in another two months. Uh, but until then, definitely Cooler is the figure that surprised everyone this year with his sudden announcement, um, which came out of the blue. And I gotta say, he's a damn good figure so far. Um, we'll get a good look at the inside of him shortly. Uh, but first, let's take a look at the box. I mean, on the outside, we've got the standard layout showcasing the accessories and the uh, actual figure himself and then we've also got some extra pictures down the side as well now one thing to keep in mind with the Tamashii figures is that they have the Tamashii quality seal on the front uh, this is one way to distinguish between a legit figure or not uh, this time he's got the slight golden um, with the red toe sticker but yeah other than that very standard box and he is big uh, pretty similar size to Berta Gold I've actually uh, to give you a rough idea um, but yeah, enough of checking out the box, let's just get in there and have a closer look at what he comes with and his articulation and so forth. Okay, check him out in all his glory. Um, yeah, he's pretty limited on the accessories he does come with, but I mean he is pretty big, so I guess that is the trade-off we've got. Uh, but yeah, starting at the top left, we've got the base face that you only see briefly in the movie actually, so it's pretty cool that we did get that. Um, it's not a straight face plate, it's actually kind of a whole head and you switch off the horns, which we'll go into a bit later. Uh, moving down though the side, we've got the two pointing finger hands, um, as well as the kind of gripping ones and then the open palm ones as well. Uh, so you've got, yeah, three um, complete uh, extra sets of hands. And then on the right hand side, we've got his long tail there, uh, which does have a point of articulation in the middle, which is pretty cool. And then below that, we've got the uh, kind of gripping uh, toe feet there as well. So yeah, the accessories is... As I was saying, a bit light, uh, stand or key blast would have been kind of perfect to come with it. Uh, but yeah, that's only a bit of a small negative, and we'll kind of go over that at the very end of this video as well. Uh, so yeah, anyway, let's take him out of his packaging and get a close look at his uh, actual design and articulation. Okay, so here we go. Uh, starting off with his tail. Uh, this actually connects the same way as Freezer's one does, uh, but the connection is a lot stronger, which is nice. Uh, which is quite good since the tail is very hefty, as you can see. Uh, there's definitely a little bit of nice sculpting down there to show kind of the, uh, I guess, the rumpling of his skin. I guess it would be. And then as he swings around, you can see he's got awesome shading for his arm muscles and his legs as well. Um, the arm are very subtle. Uh, it's definitely a bit more lighter than what would have been nice. Uh, if they had a bit more shading and detail, they would have been kind of perfect. But beyond that, yeah, the fact he's got shading is awesome. It's something we don't really see much these days with the 2.0 uh, figures. Uh, so the fact that they're bringing that back in a bit more lately is fantastic. Uh, so yeah, the sculpting on his back horns I guess spikes um, his fins uh, anyway these things here look really good same with his arm ones and then his head as well uh, yeah to be honest I think the sculpting looks amazing and same with the domes on his wrist guards and ankle leg shin guards as well uh, so yeah overall I think yeah, the sculpting looks great he's got detailing on his mask through his ears and yeah we'll get in a little bit closer to that shortly um, when we check out his articulation Okay, let's start from the top and work your way down with the articulation. Um, his head, yeah, decent enough movement, uh, though his shoulder pads do kind of get in the way depending on which way you look. Um, he's got a little bit of movement up and down as well, which is good. And yeah, um, nothing too extraordinary or anything limited there. Yeah, just works really nice and that, yeah, moves extremely well as well. Um, the neck was, was a little bit stiff at first, but at the moment he's moving uh, not too bad up and down, which is quite good. Uh, it can be a little bit hard to get into to kind of do a slight twisting left and right uh, but if you kind of move this head up and around you can kind of get your fingers in there and just slightly twist it to the left and right as well. Uh, moving down towards the shoulders there, his actual armour parts there move up and down as well which is really good uh, so you can kind of get him out of the way if you need to or move him a bit closer as well depending on the pose. Uh, the shoulders again uh, work very similar to most figures though due to the armour on the left and right um, his motion forward is definitely a bit more limited than a lot of other figures, which is, I can understand why, so it's not too much of an issue, uh, but if it had a bit more forward motion, it would have been quite nice. Uh, but you can definitely get back quite far as well, which is quite good. 
so you can kind of see the double joints in there for his shoulder uh, so yeah again the motion on him is really smooth he works extremely well which is great so moving down to the arm again you've got the bicep swivel and then his arm movement up and down due to his big bulky muscles it is a bit more limited going up especially since his arm guard here is quite thick as well but you can still basically get the 90 degree angle which is pretty nice Moving over to the torso articulation, um, he's got an upper torso area which moves extremely well, can swivel basically all the way around, which is, yeah, look at that, he's persist. Ah. Um, but yeah, that's really awesome articulation up top, and then for his inner chest part here as well, um, again, decent motion, uh, a bit more than your average figure, which is great. Okay, down to the legs in here. Um, yeah, it's pretty similar to the articulation for Piccolo. Uh, maybe not quite as far since the armor flaps here does get in the way slightly. But it's more than enough uh, to get into those awesome poses. Again, his leg swivels around as well, which is really nice. And then for his knee joint, uh, decent range there as well. And same with his feet, uh, decent range of motion there. Now if we swivel around for his tail, um, he can swivel all the way around obviously on that ball joint and you've got a decent range of motion up and down as well. And then halfway through the tail, uh, you've got another point of articulation. So I've got his additional face here and as you can see, um, yeah, the detailing, the smirk on there, the sculpting of his face looks really good. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll pop the head off and show you how to switch the head. Um, all you have to do is just kind of grab a body and the head should pop right off. Okay, and once you've got the uh, head off the body, uh, you can just hold onto the horns and the faceplate should come loose. Once you do have it off, just line up the peg hole so you've got the two round ones and the square one there, and that just slots on nicely like so. And you can just pop it onto the body. Okay, so that's the maskless face put on his body, and just like his masked version, this one looks extremely good as well. I do love the uh, smirking expression he has on this face. Uh, let's switch over some hands as well. Okay, so to switch off the hand, again, just kind of firmly grab the uh, forearm and then just wiggle the hand and it should just pop right off. And just line up the next hand with a joint and just push it straight on and it should slot in. And there we go. You get some additional hands on. Nice and simple and looks really good. Uh, you can change the feet in the exact same manner and please note that the Inside of a feet do have an L and an R so you know which size. So this one says L, so that's the left hand foot. So to take it off, just grab his leg, hold the foot and it just pop right off. The important thing is to always pull in the direction that the peg is facing so you don't put any stress on it. And there we go, he's got his chicken foot claw grabbing feet. Okay, so I've grabbed the recently released Full Power Super Saiyan Goku uh, for a bit of a size comparison with Cooler here. And yeah, there's definitely a bit of a big difference. The top of Goku's hair, underneath his hair, is probably about here, uh, which is just below Cooler's shoulder line. Uh, so yeah, there's a big difference in the size and mass of these two characters. And together, I think they look really good. Uh, so let's get them off the turntable and a bit closer. So yeah, you can see the size difference in them a little bit better here. I mean, Goku's shoulder is up to call his middle back there, just below the shoulder blades. And when you put them right next to each other, yeah, there's massive difference. I think they look really good together. Uh, so while the movie size of Cooler is definitely slightly a bit bigger than what we have here, um, a bigger version of Cooler, while it would have been nice, um, it probably would have driven the cost up a bit more. Um, so I'm not sure if that is something that was worth a trade-off or not uh, but i can definitely say the figure in person looks really good and i'm really happy with the sizing uh, i don't really have any issues um, with him being slightly smaller and yeah he looks really nice with the goku teamed up really well and yeah okay so let's jump into the final thoughts pros and cons of cooler uh first up with the pros he's just absolutely badass uh the shading's awesome the sculpt his articulation um his overall design just works really good i think his sizing is really good as well um in terms of cons Ah, oh, I don't really have one, eh? If I had to really nitpick, it would be the fact he doesn't come with any accessories, 
And I guess it would have been nice to get some other expressions, maybe? Though generally he does have his mask closed the whole time. Um, so yeah, the only main thing would have been a key blast and that would have been pretty much perfect. Um, his articulation his tail works really good. And yeah, so cons, yeah. Not really any cons there. I guess he has premium bundle, so I can't go buy a second one easily. Um, yeah, the other little bit of things to point out, when I did get him, his right leg joint, uh, it was really hard to move. Um, after a few little bit of jiggles, I started moving freely with no issues. So I'm not sure if there's just a little bit of um, plastic just stuck in there or a little bit of dust is in the way, but yeah, no issues with that. Um, and it looks like some of the white paint from his armor has gone onto his arms a little bit, but I don't see any markings on the um, actual white parts. So there could be a slight rubbing if you are using it for the first time, or might just be extra paint or something along those lines just on the seam. So that's something to keep in mind um, when you do take them out of the box. Uh, try not to rub the white parts and the purple parts together um, too roughly. Um, the other small uh, negative would be on the knee joint here. You can see the slight hole inside if you have it bent up and over too far. Um, but again, that's something that's not too much of an issue for me personally. Uh, just depending on the pose and angle you have, you may see some of those joints a bit more easily than you otherwise would. So yeah, um, Caller, what do you reckon? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. And there'll be more images of Caller at the end of this video as well as Instagram. And you can check out 360 images and all those images of them on rockchild.com, which is linked in the description below. So yeah, cheers for watching.